Ruth. Thank you, and thank you for the opportunity to be here. And yes, I am proud to stand with you today and to stand for the rights of migrants. We recognize the crucial role that people from other countries play within the UK. Whether it's as loved ones, family members, whether it's people who are working in essential services, working in the economy generally, every one of those people contributes to our society. And that, I think, is clear despite the political messages we hear from elsewhere. Many of the problems, as we've heard today, blamed on migrants are problems that our government does not want to solve. Low wages? Well, you know, we make sure everybody is paid a proper living wage and enforce that. No migrant worker has ever asked for a lower wage. If it's important to change the law, change the law on contracts. Zero hour contracts are not demanded by a workforce. They're put in there by people who want to exploit workers and keep them vulnerable. This government can change that situation. Struggling health service will reduce poverty so that people can feed themselves properly. Tra train more staff. Hire and bring back the bursaries for nurses with others who want to work in the health service. Retain more of those that you train. So many trained in the UK move on to other countries for better working conditions and better pay exactly the reasons that bring people here. Remove the salary thresholds that prevent people from coming to work in this country and that split families. And invest in social care and recognize that everybody deserves decent work. Our government at the moment says it wants to be open to the world. It's out there chasing free trade agreements. It's out there chasing our former colonies and saying, please, we need you to actually help make this country great again. Well, it's not going to do any of that. I think not going to do any of it anyway, but it's certainly not going to do any of that with its current hostile environment on immigration. Because that hostile environment poisons our whole society. And it makes many of us who are not migrants wonder whether we actually want to stay in a country that allows this toxic debate, allows people to be treated like dirt on the streets and nothing happens. So this is important that we stand together. Whether you're proud to be a migrant, we should all be proud to stand with migrants. Thank you. Yay! Thank you, Jim.